Some breaking news out of the NFL where the Cowboys and offensive coordinator Kellen Moore have mutually agreed to part ways. This comes from multiple reports. He's been with Dallas since the 2019 season. The Cowboys have the second highest scoring offense in the NFL since 2019 behind only the Chiefs. Head coach Mike McCarthy is set to take over play calling duties in Dallas. Joe Musso, Bryant McFadden, Lee J. Doosable here with reaction to the news. Uh, poetic in some ways, fellas, that as we crown an NFC champion, the Dallas Cowboys are looking for answers once again. Uh, Doos, I'll go your way first here. Is this ceremonial in a way that somebody had to go in Dallas? Does this make them better moving forward? Why is what I'm asking? It's a little puzzling, Moose and B-Mac, because you just stated it, Moose, right? They were one of the highest scoring offenses in all the league. 27 and a half points per game is what the Dallas Cowboys, you know, average on the offensive side of the ball. Now, again, it comes down to does somebody have to be the scapegoat at the end of the day. We kind of saw this with the New York Jets, Mike LaFleur getting, the, you know, a lot of the blame and then him ultimately parting ways mutually with the New York Jets. I think this is the same scenario, right? A lot of people were saying that the Dallas Cowboys offense in that playoff game versus the 49ers was a little bit anemic. I would ask those people, when you're a play caller, what are you supposed to do when your quarterback's turning the football over? And then mm -hmm. you also lose one of your most explosive weapons in Tony Pollard. I mean, I thought Kellen Moore actually called a really good game versus the 49ers. His quarterback hurt him in that game. So it's a little puzzling when you talk about how explosive that offense has been this year when it comes to the run game and also CeeDee Lamb solidifying himself as a true number one receiver. I don't get it because Kellen Moore was one guy that was one of the hot head coaching candidates in the last two seasons. You let him go. Where do you go from here? Yeah, I agree with you. It's, it's a bit confusing based on where they finished uh, in the statistics in the National Football League on the offensive end. And don't forget, at one point in time, they were missing their star quarterback in Dak Prescott and didn't miss a beat in regards to offensive production. So the creativity that we were able to witness uh, with uh, Kellen Moore as the OC there, you talk about utilizing Tony Pollard, Ezekiel Elliott, like Jules just mentioned, getting the most out of C.D. Lamb. This was a talented offense, and they were productive. So it's a bit mind-boggling to see this change in regards to play calling. The biggest issue for me with the Dallas Cowboys was the inconsistencies at the quarterback position. Mm. So moving Kellen Moore, who's a former quarterback, mm -hmm. now your head coach is calling plays. How, will we see a more consistent Dak Prescott because of this change? We have to wait and see, but I agree with you guys. I'm a bit confused to see this uh, move today by the Dallas Cowboys. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.